Hey everybody on my YouTube channel. Okay, see I do have a big house. I'm just in my room all the time, but I share. That's actually my walker. <laughs> but I share my environment with two other people. So a lot of times I'm not even here in my living room. I'm The way that I would have this all set up, it would be so much more prettier. But when you're living in mutual circumstances with others, you have to kind of keep things neutral. So I'm not able to put the fancy smancy paintings on the walls and stuff that I would want for my home. That's our dining room. We actually have a backyard. I very rarely go back there anymore because no one seems to keep it up or help. And one of my roommates loves to throw cigarette butts and it drives me but absolutely bananas out there. We, uh, this is upstairs and there's three bedrooms upstairs. Anyway, so I love listening to music in my ears in the morning, try not to disturb anybody. This is our kitchen. It's pretty decent. One of my roommates um, is not as cleanly and stuff as I am but like this is their thing and instead of it being in the cabinet and stuff um, I have to make sure that I mark my stuff because I don't want people messing with my things I nicely stack away my stuff um, I cannot wait to get my own home my own house um, which is crazy to try and think of getting because in New York it is so expensive so you do wind up sharing a lot um, of housing like it's just incredible the rent the rent here for me is like seven I believe 39 739 now because um, it went up and um, it's for one you know just for my one bedroom but I have all of you know supposedly have access to all of this but being that we are level two, um, let's say, I won't say mental, but conjugal, like, like not conjugal, oh my god, <laughs> not conjugal, but like a behavioral uh, specialist house, which means that we get visits to make sure that we're taking our medications and to make sure that, you know, our mental state is in fair condition and that we're not thinking about suicidal thoughts or are doing um, behavior damage you know anything that's I've graduated but I'm stuck here because of the fact that corona is going crazy out here and we have no way of um, going to see other housing they have tried twice and twice the houses that they sent me to were not up to par for me to leave this this is grandiose as compared to what I um, so I was not about to move. Um, I'm bringing you along with me this morning because I am about to cut some onions, which is gonna make me cry because I bought myself some uh, gyro stuff. For a while there, I was vegetarian, doing very well. Well, not vegetarian, but vegan. Not vegan, but vegetarian, yeah. And I was doing well, but I kind of fell off. But I believe it's my medication that sometimes I get like this really, really bad hunger pain and I cannot help but to eat something heavy. Um, also, my nerves just like shot. I'm just, I want to place so bad. I want my own place so bad, like I'm over, like over living with others. Okay, um, Oh 
I'm trying to get you guys in there to sit it right. Okay, I am prepping. I like to prep, cook before anyone else gets up so that I have my meals done for the day. This knife is not the sharpest. Um, I get up early, I get up like 6 in the morning, sometimes even 5. At one time I was waking up at 3 o'clock, but I would go back to bed. Um, but then that would have me waking up later, and now I need to wake up, um, you know, semi-sensible so that I, I'm not too tired during the day because I've been up too early. But 6, I believe, is a fair number to be up. So I prep in the morning, I cook all of whatever I want to eat throughout the day in the morning so that I will have my meals done and I don't have to be in the way of anyone else that wants to use the kitchen. So I want to saute me some onions because they wrap it in. Now I'm thinking I forgot to get um, some yogurt, uh, plain yogurt to make the dressing with. But anyhow, this is what I plan on making for myself. I try to get it. Gyro, that's what I'm trying to say, a gyro.
these out of here. Let's see how they're packaged. Oh, way cool. Okay, so they're like four each in a pack. I'm so sorry about my lighting, people. I had no idea, and I can't really set up lighting down here and all that. It's just too much for me to do. Or one of my roommates decides to come down and check on what is going on in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, it's like that, man. Don't you? It's hard to live where you're like. I just feel this is the dullest night. Oh my god. Really? Oh. Look, it's not funny at all, people. Oh. I need a knife sharp. Oh, when I start living my van life living, it's going to be so sweet. these all, you know, cook them separate, but I think that what I'm going to do is add them in with the onion already. So that way, I can have like nice seven amount of palm oil onion. I keep forgetting the green. Yeah, I don't have my utensils down in the kitchen with me to do them upstairs because most of the time, like in another video that I did, I don't keep myself in the kitchen. I usually don't even cook in the kitchen. Um, I usually cook in my room in a pot pot. But because this is something special that I've been wanting to try, and I've had a little powwow with my roommates, like, you know, yo, I pay rent here too. I want to be able to use the kitchen. So I'm noticing that they're never down here early, early in the morning. So I decided I'll come down and get my cooking done for the day early in the morning. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> But yeah. So I'm getting my cooking done early in the morning. These boxes were $10. That's true. It's a lot of money. Got to learn how to do this on my own, huh? Actually, I'm going to go back to being a vegetarian. But right now, my nose is so damn bad. guys have a look at what I'm doing here. So I have 
everything in the pan. Let that cook. I love for it to kind of brown while it's in here because once it browns up, I'm going to put, take everything out and then I'm going to put my bread in here because it's a non-stick copper pan and it's, my bread will absorb that brown caramelized glue and give it season. So this um this lamb and this beef was already fully cooked um, in the packaging. So what I'm really doing is just preheating it, preheating it, heating it actually, preheating it, heating it, heating it up and chopping it up. And I think I will add a little seasoning. Kappa and pink Himalayan salt, which is good for you. Just a little bit of the paint because I'm trying my best to stay away from the salt and sugar. <sighs> but coronavirus kind of has me, you know, breaking all my rules, not being very disciplined at all anymore. I'm just feeding the, you know, the feeding the what is it? The boredom away. Just being stuck in the house. And you know what? I think she would be Oh, that was so much easier. Thank you. Okay, so they're, they're like this. So you still have to really cook them. So they'll puff up. Right? Oh, I love it. It's in individual packs. This is all cooked up and ready to be plated. That might be right. All nice and cooked and ready to be plated. So I'm just going to plate it. I don't want to dirty that pan. Tupperwares that um, when I was getting emergency food, they came in these things and I saved them. Great idea, saving it. So now I'm just gonna. Sorry, right, show you the back. Put that meat in here. 
here. You see that brown caramel? I don't mind that sticking to the pan because what I do is just add a little smidget of water before I'm gonna add the uh, bread in there to cook. And my bread will absorb all those good juices. Midget of water down in there. I've had it in the refrigerator. Yeah. So I am going to have to do this over ice. So what I'm going to do is this back up and put these in the freezer. So they can be like frozen when I use them. That's the only way I'm going to get them out of the wrap and they're sticking to the wrap. Ah, oh, cool. So we won't do it gyro style. We'll do what I just cooked over rice because my bread is sticking to its packaging. So I'm gonna put it in the freezer. I look like I'm using up more space than anybody else in, in the uh, freezer. <laughs> well, everybody, I have cooked me some gyro, some lamb and beef with some caramel onions. And I am going to put that over some rice that I already have made. And enjoy. One thing I do love doing also is cleaning up after I cook. I cannot stand a person that cooks and just leave piles and piles of dirty dishes all over the kitchen. If you clean as you cook, you won't have that issue. This is something my mother taught me many years ago. She says, make you some dope, some some dish water and clean as you cook. So as you finish one pan, dump it in that, put it in that water, and wash it out. Then when you look over, you don't have any dishes to wash. Okay, so, like I said, we got emergency food. So what I'm gonna do is just pull one of these out and just wash it out. Because 
rice is something I don't usually eat. But anyway, so I have my gun meal. I'm going to wash up my dishes now. I'm going to take a tiny taste of this. See, I'm trying to wait till after crafts. Yeah, it's so good. Mm. Okay, no more. No more. I'm not eating anymore. I'm going to eat up the whole thing. And I'm trying to wait until after I finish class today at 1230. I don't know if it's going <laughs> to, if that's going to happen. Lately, I've been waking up, having my coffee and eating right away. Like I'm starving to death. I think it's totally my nerves. Just being stuck in the house like this is like. I mean, I am getting out for walks as long as I'm not around people, but and it's cold out. You don't really. I don't really want to go outside. Am I being lazy? Is that just being lazy, or how many other people are feeling as I am? Like, ugh. Like, man, just forget it. <laughs> but we can't let it give us blue. We can't let it all get us down. We have to keep on going. Especially a person like me. I can't allow my mind to even go there because I am a high risk individual. My mind don't need to be thinking anything but good stuff. That's what I am busy doing. Good thoughts, good thoughts, people. Send me your good vibes and good energy as I wash this pot over here. Uh, keep your mind focused on the good things in life. Sometimes it's very hard, but I somehow get through it. You don't leave your mess sitting around for someone else to come along and have to clean up. Clean up after yourself so that someone else comes along, they can use the facilities also. I think that's a part of van life living also, right? You know, wherever you were, whatever campsite you stop at, whatever restroom, whatever, you leave it clean for the next person. You leave it clean for the next person. That's just courtesy. It's just being respectful of others and the environment, right? So, sometimes I have to remind my roommates of this. They're not that, that bad. I would have been out of here. But if I don't stay on top of it, I'm pretty sure it would get that bad. <laughs> I'm kind of like a house mom in that manner.
thank you for joining me for making my little prep my meal and um yeah thank you for watching my video from start to finish and give me a thumbs up and positive vibration and words and i'll see you in the next video and remember if you don't like what you're doing don't do it you know do something else just for the love of it bye